Hey everyone, welcome. You know what? I was really tired of just creating loops and printing stuff. I just, I really wanted to take a break from that and learn about a really important keyword inside of Python as well as pretty much every programming language. So the keyword is break and break is used to break out of a loop. So if you wanna stop a loop early. So let's go through an example and you could build off of the example what we had in the previous video if you've been following along, but I'm gonna start fresh. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say languages and I'm gonna assign some languages in here. We're gonna say C++, Java, Python, and JavaScript. So we got different programming languages in here. And what I wanna say is language in languages. So we're gonna iterate through this, and if I find a particular language in this list, I want to break from the loop. When would you wanna do this? Well, let's say you have some list and you don't know all the elements in it, and you wanna search for something. Here's how you would program that. So we can check to see the value. If language has the value Python, then what we're gonna do is we're going to break. Notice we have two indentations here. The first indentation is for stuff inside of the loop, and then the next indentation is for stuff within this if statement. Each iteration of the loop, this if statement is going to run. So right now, if we ran this, it's not gonna do anything because we're not doing any outputs. So what we could do is we could print the language. We'll say print, pass in language here, hit run, and let's see what happens. We get C++, Java, and then Python. But JavaScript is never printed. Why is that? Well, as soon as language is equal to Python, which is this case right here, we break from the loop and it stops going through, so JavaScript is never hit. And if you wanted, if you were considering this to be some kind of search, you could say print, and then say something like, we found Python. Running this, and it says we found Python. We could generalize this a little bit more. So for example, let's get an input. And we're gonna use this input to ask them what we want to search for. And we'll print before this, what are you searching for? So lang is going to contain the value Python if we type that in. So now instead of hard coding Python in here, we could actually put lang, which is their input. And then inside of this print, we could say we found lang. All right, so let's try this now. Running this, what are you searching for? We will type in Python, hit enter, and it says we found Python. Run it again, this time let's search for something else. And notice it does not say we found pizza because it wasn't found in the list. When this break is hit, it's going to immediately cut out of the loop. So what that means is if I had something down here and we ran this, and let's say we are searching for Python, at the end of each iteration it's going to print that. So C++, then it hits this print. Then Java, then it hits this print. Then once Python is found, it prints we found it, it breaks, and it never reaches line 11 for that iteration or ever again because the loop is now complete. So that's an introduction to the break statement. We're gonna be using that a lot in our programming, so make sure you understand how it works. Get a little bit of practice with it. There is another important keyword you should know, and that is continue. Stay tuned, or should I say continue, <laughs> with the next video because we're gonna be talking about that there.